Welcome to our Filmic Pro tutorial video. So in today's video, I'm gonna walk you through everything you do with the Filmic Pro app. The thing is the camera that comes with your phone is probably really, really good and can record great videos. The thing is the app for the camera to take photos and videos isn't all that amazing. The thing is it doesn't allow you to customize very much. The ISO, the shutter speed, the white balance, all sorts of different stuff, um, audio levels, are just kind of pre-baked into what you're going to be recording. But if you use something like Filmic Pro or ProTake, you can customize all of that to ensure that you're recording really, really amazing videos with your phone. So I'd encourage you to invest in an app like that before you start thinking about buying some high-end camera. So what I want to do today is just basically open up my phone and show you all the settings and customize how you can record videos with just your cell phone. Okay, so when you open up the Filmic Pro app, you're going to see something like this where there's essentially two different shapes in the middle. The circle is what's going to control the exposure. So the thing is, if you look at the image with Yoda, R2-D2, and the fighter, I also had a couple other things in here too, is different parts of the screen are lit differently. So if I choose one of the brighter things, everything is gonna get a little bit darker. For example, if I choose my Apple mouse, which is white, it's gonna darken everything. If I move this over to one of the darker parts of the screen, it's gonna brighten everything up. If Yoda is the most important thing, I would probably expose the video for him. The next thing is the focus. So what you can do here is decide where, where do you want the focus of the shot to be. Obviously, if you focus on something in the front, you see the back get a little bit blurrier. If we focus on the ladybug timer back here, you can see that R2-D2 is now a bit blurrier. And so you can adjust any of these things. The other thing is too, you can lock things. So if you wanna lock the exposure, what you can do right now is tap again, and it's gonna be red. And so if I were to move the camera around a little bit right now, the exposure is not going to change. The same thing with the focus. So if I want the focus to be right here, it is locked in that piece of the screen right here. The other thing is if you double tap on this, you're going to change the mode. So if I double tap here, it's going to take the exposure from a much larger piece of the screen. And the same thing here, this is actually going to autofocus on what's ever in the middle of your camera. So moving on from that, along the left hand side, you're going to see the audio volumes for the left and for the right. The other thing you're going to see right now that says bottom INT. So it's recording with the bottom microphone, the bottom internal microphone on my iPhone. Moving on from there, you see the, the color balance. So you see right now you have the color temperature and tint. You can adjust the color temperature. You can adjust the tint or you can move it anywhere on here or choose, or I guess this would probably be tungsten, sunlight, cloudy day, fluorescent lights or you can have two presets, turn it on auto white balance, and you can lock the auto white balance as well, so it's not gonna be adjusting while you're recording. Then if we just want to go back there, we can close out of that. Here is where you set a lot of the manual settings, so it's uh, the shutter speed is 1 60th, and the ISO is 1840. So you can adjust that you know, by moving this along the side you know, right here. And then on the right hand side, you have the focus and the zoom. So right now I could change the focus. So you see everything is out of focus. There's nothing super far away. The mouse and the ladybug and all this stuff further away is in focus. And all the way up front, you see R2-D2 in focus. You can zoom. So this is gonna be a digital zoom. And if I were to just click off of this, you see it locked the exposure and the focus, but I could unlock those and go back to, you know, it adjusting those right here. Then moving on from there. So what you're going to see is there's a little line below the number. So this is actually going to be the audio volume. So I can turn that down and you can see the, the decibel levels along the left hand side are much lower, even though I'm not raising or lowering my voice. So I could turn that back up. You can see the frame rate and the resolution that you're recording at, so 30 frames per second in 1080p. Along the right side of the numbers, you'll see the battery level and then how much space you have in the storage of your phone to record video. So just keep in mind if you're gonna be recording a lot of video content that you have space on your phone and don't run out in the middle of recording a video. Then the next thing, if you hit the settings wheel like so, there's a ton of settings that you can change here. So if you 
click on resolution, the very first thing is the aspect ratio. So if you're recording something for say a video for Instagram, maybe you want something that's just one by one, you know, most landscape videos are going to be 16 by nine. The next thing is what resolution of video do you want to record in? So 1080p is what we usually record in. Um, you could lower the quality all the way down to 540. And then depending on the phone that you have, you may be able to go up to 3K or to 4K. Then the next thing is going to be basically the quality of the video, like how many megabytes or how the bit rate they essentially call it. So you have Apple standard economy, and then you can all the way go up to Filmic Extreme. So this is gonna record heavier video files. It'll give you better quality the higher up you go. And then the bit rate is essentially how many colors the camera is going to see. So 8-bit is fairly standard. 10-bit is essentially lots more colors that will allow you to recover some of the colors and shadows and things like that uh, within your videos much more. Okay, so now let's check out the frame rate. So standard for TV and other things in the US is 30 frames per second. Something that's more cinematic a lot of times is recorded in 24 frames per second. If you wanna record in slow motion, you could record in 60. Um, depending on all of your set settings, you may be able to record in 120 or 240, which would give you really slow motion clips. And then after you choose the frame rate, if we go back to settings, then you have the audio. So you can see here with the iPhone, there's a couple of different microphones, but you can basically go through and select. I'm actually using the microphone to record the screen right now, so it's not gonna let me edit that. And then the next thing is if I were to plug in an external microphone, I don't know if it's, yeah, here we go. So you're gonna see the headset microphone right now. So this is me recording with a lav mic to my cell phone right now. So you're gonna be able to easily, you know, be able to change up microphones. You see the option down here for a Bluetooth microphone as well. And then you can automat have automatic gain correction if you want it to adjust accordingly, depending on how loud or quiet the scene is right now. I'm gonna unplug the lab microphone. Okay, so that's audio. Then if we go back to the settings further, so within device, there's a couple things of, hey, do you want to save the video to the camera roll? Do you want to lock the orientation? So one of the things here is if you're moving the camera around, what could happen if it thinks you all of a sudden want to record a vertical video? Um, that could potentially change while you're, you're moving the camera around. And so you can see there's a handful of other settings that you could adjust here. From there, you know, within hardware, so if you have an Osmo Mobile from DJI, one of the, the basically gimbals or stabilizers, you can set that up right there. And then there's stabilization within the iPhone, so I can turn that on or off. And then the next thing would be, you know, which camera do I want to record with? So right now, you know, this is the the wide camera, if I wanted to get closer, but then use the ultra wide lens, I could do that. Or if you want to see me, here I am, here is the selfie camera. Back to the normal one and set that up like so. The other thing is the torch. So basically the flash or the, the flashlight that you have on your cell phone. So here's low, high, medium, and off. Back to settings, do you want the, the guide to essentially split up the video into thirds? You can turn that on like so. And then obviously the last thing, if you're happy with where the settings are right now, the circle in the bottom right hand corner you've probably seen before, that is to record your video. So what do you think of Filmic Pro? Do you think it'll help you record better videos with just your cell phone? If you're looking to grow a YouTube channel with just your phone, we have a whole playlist to help you out with that. I'll link to that up above right here. Also, if you wanna check out the ProTech app, another amazing camera app for your phone, I'll link to our video on that down below right here. Hope to see you in those and other videos. Bye-bye.